West Palm and we're just driving over the bridge over the Indian River right now and we're in Vero Beach. We're just looking at the area and seeing what we like. So I'll show you along as we look around Vero Beach and then later we're checking into Orange Lake Resort in Orlando. So it's a two hour drive from here to there. So we'll probably do that tonight and then grab dinner and just chill at the pool later. So I'll take you along with us. swimming at the beach it was so nice we started walking on the beach and put our feet in the water and we're like we looked at each other we're like we need to go swimming but it was wicked nice the water here is so warm it's so nice compared to where i live in massachusetts it's like cold there i love the water there but it's nice being able to just like walk in although the downside it didn't feel it was very refreshing did you like so nice though and like it was refreshing in a different way it wasn't like it didn't relieve you from the heat though so if you don't like the heat maybe florida during the summer is a little still a little too hot for you but i love the heat so i loved it back at the resort we're about 30 minutes away but we just wanted to grab a drink real quick and brian remembered that at mcdonald's they have the pokemon cards so he got a happy meal to get the pokemon cards so we'll show you what he gets in those <laughs> We just got ready for the pool and we just got into our hotel room. It's actually really nice. We really kind of messed it up, but <laughs> we're gonna go down to the pool and grab dinner by the pool and just relax. So I'm gonna stop vlogging for tonight, but I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. just got to the pool and it's like about nine o'clock in the morning and we're just gonna spend the whole early morning and early to early afternoon at the pool and we're gonna get the tube pass so we can do the tubes around the lazy river and everything so I'm just updating you guys real quick on what our plan is we spent the whole morning at the pool and it was so nice we just relaxed we got a drink they were really strong so we got doubles but it was really nice and then right now we're heading to the Orlando premium outlets we're going to the violent Vineland ones and we're gonna do some shopping so I'll take you along there they have the Disney character warehouse and last time we went it was right after COVID and everything was super super cheap I don't think it'll be as cheap as it was do you think yeah, no except, shirts for like $2. yeah literally it was so cheap I think it was cuz like they just opened right after COVID so we're still gonna go check it out and then we'll do some other shopping and then we're gonna head to Disney Springs and get dinner there and do some more shopping there. So we're just gonna be spending a lot of money tonight. <laughs> but uh, we'll take you along with us. So we just got back from the shopping and everything at the outlets. We were kind of disappointed this time. I really think we just lucked out when we came last time. We bought so much stuff, it was such a good deal, everything because it was right after COVID, so they're trying to get rid of stuff. So at the Disney store, we only got a few things. We got, I got two stickers, they're the same ones. I got one for myself and one for my sister. They're originally $5 and it was $1.99, so $2. And then we got this pin. It was also $2, right? Yep. Yep, and it's the Batu, um, or no, Blackshire Outpost. Blackshire yeah. I think you just go straight through here. We're trying to get to, we're gonna check out the North Face outlet to real quick, just across the street. So we're heading to the Springs. And then I just got one other thing at Michael Kors. I need a new um, 
wallet that has a keychain as well because that's like the only thing I use and I'll like bring with me. And I found this one. It's actually a lot bigger than the ones I normally use. And it was like 40 bucks, which is not bad. The other one, the only other one I found at the outlets was more expensive. So I grabbed this one and it's also bigger so it can fit more. So last night we spent the whole night in Disney Springs and we ate at the boathouse. It was so good. We loved it so much that we actually bought the seasoning that they put on the food and it's just so good. But I definitely recommend going there and if you're gluten free they do have like a good amount of options which was really nice. So this morning we woke up and we checked the weather to make sure it was still going to be good and it looks like it's not going to rain till late this afternoon so we're going to Volcano Bay. We bought our tickets and we're driving there now and so I'll show you a little bit of that. I don't think I'll be able to like bring my phone out a lot because we're renting a locker and you know really can't really have your phone in the water but I'll show you a little bit of what it looks like and yeah and then also when I get back I'll show you everything we bought from Disney Springs. for the day today's our last full day yesterday we ended up leaving volcano bay early like i updated you guys with and we went to the outlets and i found this really cute bathing suit it kind of looks like this it's from billabong and it was the whole suit was 36 dollars and it would have been originally 136 so i got like a super good deal on it and i love it i'm so excited but um after that, we went to Margaritaville and it was so much fun. I showed you a few little clips of like inside Margaritaville and it was really cool. They had like people on stilts walking around and they gave me like a balloon rose and it was really cute. And then after that, we came home back to like our resort and just chilled and we just finished getting ready. And today we're actually going to Vero Beach and we're just looking at different areas. <laughs> lunch at a little pizza place in Barrow. It was really good. We really liked it. They had really good gluten-free pizza, which is hard to find. And then we just spent some time at the beach and we went in the water for a little bit. And we're gonna go up to Sebastian and look around that area now. So we were driving down A1A and I saw the sign for Disney's Vero Beach Club so we're gonna go check it out because I've always wanted to see it so since we're here we might as well check it out so I'll show you what it looks like. So Brian's trying gator jerky, go ahead. stand on the side of a road so we pulled over and got it we got peaches that were really good too do you like it it's good yeah can you tell there's gator in it I don't know what gator tastes like But we're gonna stop and get acai bowls on the way to the airport 
and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you like seeing my travel videos please be sure to like comment and subscribe down below